Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista from Hebert's Down Home. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love to have you click that subscribe button down below. It is grocery haul time once again. This grocery haul is a little bit different. We are now a family of 10 instead of a family of eight. So for those of you who have followed along on our journey, um, we do currently have a foster care placement in our home. You can see a little high chair back there. So that's a new addition um, for us. We have little ones in our home once again. So this grocery haul is kind of different because we only ended up going to Walmart this time instead of Walmart, Aldi's, and Sam's Club. Um, I was gonna send Monty to, uh, it's about 30 miles away to our Sam's Club and do just a Sam's Club pickup. But then I realized I had all of those meals in the freezer that I had prepared ahead um, for when we did get foster children. So we're gonna live off of those. And the other stuff that I just picked up at Walmart, just decided to try to simplify things as best I could um, for this time. So anyway, I'm gonna share my haul with you. This is a two week haul, um, like I said, for our family of 10. So as you can see, this haul is big from Walmart. It's a bigger haul than what I usually have from Walmart. And usually I guess we divide this up between Sam's, Aldi's, and Walmart so it doesn't feel so big. But I'm gonna start on this end because this is where I have kind of my, you guys can see my nail polish is bad news. This is, this is kind of the state of affairs around here. So mama's gonna have to put on new nail polish tonight after all the kiddos are in bed because church is tomorrow, it is Saturday. So anyway, sorry, excuse the nail polish, but it is what it is today. Um, so this is kind of our household items and I do typically include household items in our grocery budget. Our grocery budget is going to need to grow a little bit because um, we have added in diapers and some baby things. Um, so I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. If I'm gonna separate that stuff out or what I'm gonna do and I ended up with some electronics in here this time, it just is what it is, guys. So I just thought I'd show it to you and we'll go from there. So um, I bought some, this is what we use to fill up our hand soaps. So I'm gonna fill up hand soaps with this. Lots of hand sanitizer. I already had some, but I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna stock up on the hand sanitizer. Flu season is coming and we're just gonna hand sanitize like crazy or wash hands. Um, I also got some hairspray for me and some deodorant just to keep on hand for whoever needs it. I've got some Scotch Guard here that I bought. We're gonna clean up a stroller really good and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna Scotch Guard that and hopefully it'll stay clean a little bit longer. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I've got some pull-ups here for one of our little guys to wear at night. Um, a few pacifiers um, for one of our new little guys and some wipes. I bought some wipes in bulk, but I needed a container too. So anyway, I went ahead and got a container of wipes as well. Um, we decided we needed a new DVD player for one of our televisions. We have um, a DVD player with one of them, but not with the other. And I need, um, you know, multiple places where kids can chill out and watch a DVD. So anyway, there you go. Got a second DVD player. They're pretty cheap at Walmart. So I also got a CD player. Realized we had checked out some audiobooks from the library and none of our CD players in the house worked. So thought I'd pick up another one of those. Got a few of the Puffs Plus Lotion um, Kleenexes and then I ordered a large pack from Sam's Club that's gonna come um, in the mail. So. I also got some Bounty paper towels because I like to make homemade wipes out of these, homemade baby wipes, So, and I needed the Bounty brand paper towels. So there you go, those are the household items. I should also add in here, this is not our whole haul. I did um, place a Sam's Club order, like I said, online that's gonna be shipped to us. It basically includes a couple big boxes of diapers and um, also some a big thing of Kleenexes. Since we're going into flu season, we are gonna have Kleenexes on hand, and, and I picked up a bunch of diapers from Sam's Club as well, because that's the cheapest place I can get them. So, okay, so here we go on the grocery items. Bought some turkey sausage. I think Monty's gonna make his biscuits and gravy one time. I like to add these to eggs as well on Sunday mornings. Um, got a couple boxes of butter, I think four of them, and some crescent rolls to do turkey dogs with. Got some liquid smoke, um, a couple of the unsweetened apple sauces, and a coconut oil. They did not have the coconut oil that I switched to the last time, so I went back to the Walmart brand. Hopefully we'll be okay with that one. Um, I got some Mama Lupe's tortillas for the kids. They do quesadillas with those. A couple of 
two of the 18 count of eggs um, to keep up with chickens aren't gonna be able to keep up with us for sure now that we added kiddos so um, then I got some flour sugar and brown sugar for the kids' baking that they like to do I only needed one box of tea this time I had quite a bit in the cabinet yet so um, and then I got some baked beans for the kids as well um, some strawberry preserves for them and then I've got some canned goods here um, diced tomatoes and great northern beans some um, Walmart brand Rotel uh, I'm gonna make the wicked white chili that's a good crock pot meal that I can throw in the crock pot and forget about it the rest of the day and have it ready in the evening for us so we did some mac and cheese as well kids don't like to go without that I did not buy the turkey dogs this time T typically I buy turkey dogs from Aldi's and the kids wanted just regular old hot dogs and so I went ahead and gave in and did that this time these actually grill up a lot better than the turkey dogs do anyway so I thought you know what I'm gonna throw these out on the grill and we'll um, make some lunches out of turkey dogs at some point two containers of cottage cheese we've been eating that um, for lunches sometimes for a side with lunch or also um, it goes in a lot of our ice cream and stuff that we make with Trim Healthy Mama. So there you go. A couple bottles of ketchup because um, I'm not going to Sam's so I couldn't get my big can of it this time. A couple of bags of baked Tostitos. I had a kid with me who begged for cheese puffs and I gave in. Um, I'm pretty much a softie right now as far as Mama goes. They're all doing so well that I just, you know, we got to have little treats here and there. So some potato chips, um, corn chips for taco salad, and some sour cream and onion for the kids. And then this is sort of my bread pile here. Um, I've got hamburger buns and hot dog buns. I think we're going to do hot dogs and hamburgers out on the grill one day. Extra pack of, of hot dog buns. Um, and then I've got six loaves of the Nature's Own Bread, a couple bags of bagels, and a bag of the whole grain sprouted Pepperidge Farm bread for Monty and I. We follow the Trim Healthy Mama. Um, plan. So anyway, that is this table's worth of food and now I will move over to the kitchen counter. <laughs> okay, so I've got six gallons of skim milk, got some whole milk here for one of our little guys, um, some potatoes, uh, and I don't know how many pounds of bananas here, but I've got quite a few bananas. My new little people love, love, love bananas. So that's something I always keep setting on the counter and we can grab those when we need them. I got a couple bags of apples and a couple bags of romaine lettuce. Um, I think these are romaine hearts because they didn't have any. They were all out of the just the romaine lettuce. So I paid quite a bit for those, but whatever. Like I said, right now it's kind of all about convenience. So I did pick up a few convenience snack items. Um, I've got some chocolate animal crackers, which everybody loves of the kids, um, some whales, cheese uh, Cheez-Its basically, and some white Cheez-Its, the Walmart brand. So just kind of got a variety of snacks here. So we have plenty of snack foods on hand. Got some pre-packaged whales. I think I'm gonna pick some of these up at Sam's next time I'm there. Um, but like to throw in church bags and things like that, I'm just feeling like we are just kind of running, 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 running right now. And so a few of these to just grab and go is a good idea. Um, I also got some of the dry roasted peanuts. The last time we bought the Walmart brand of these, um, when I didn't end up going to Sam's, I normally buy them at Sam's. Um, we had to get Walmart brand last time and I realized it had added sugar and some other things that I wasn't familiar with. So this time I went ahead and bought the planters, which was a little bit more expensive, but the only ingredients are peanuts and salt. So there you go. Um, I got some Cheerios because, you know, I think we could take stock in these right now. Our new little kiddos love the Cheerios. Um, some Rice Krispies, Bran Flakes. I think I'm going to make some Bran Muffins with these. And then two boxes of Raisin Bran. That, friends, is my Walmart haul for the next two weeks for our family of 10. So thank you so much for joining us today, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.